Hey guys, it's Leah. So today I'm going to be doing my third ever cohorted beauty box unboxing. So if you don't know, this is a more high-end beauty subscription service and I'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out. So today I'm going to be opening the September box. And I know that on my channel recently I've been doing a lot of unboxings and hauls and things like that. So I just wanted to ask you guys if you want to keep seeing these kind of videos or if you want me to kind of cut down on them a little bit more. So let me know down below in a comment if you want to keep seeing unboxings and hauls or if you'd rather see more different things. But without further ado, I'm going to dive into this box because I don't know what's in here and I'm really excited to see what it is. So I'm going to do this the same way I've done all of my other ones and I'm not going to look, I haven't looked yet and I'm just going to pull things out without actually looking and kind of showing you guys my first impressions. Okay, so first of all, we just have a couple of adverts and the booklet here uh, tells you what is inside. So I'm not going to look at that until I've like pulled something out and I want to see how much it costs. Okay, so this first thing is the Percy and Reed London perfectly perfecting wonder overnight recovery i have something from here that i got in the last cohorted box which i'll try and find now for you i think it's under my bed okay i'm pretty sure it's in this bag it's not in this bag got it okay maybe it's not the same it's not the same it just looks really similar because they're both hair products and they're kind of like pink and white and stuff so this is basically a hair moisture overnight mask kind of thing it says that it's supposed to just instantly absorb into dry hair and that's that so this is what it looks like it's kind of like a thin sort of gel cream sort of thing and it smells really good I don't use many hair products and I don't have really dry hair, I just have sort of split ends but I'll definitely give this a go and it looks really cute, this is what it actually is if you're wondering and that is £18 which I don't think is a bad price because it does seem like you get quite a lot in here and I'm really sorry about this kind of flashy lighting, I don't know if you can see it but sorry about that but let's move on into the next thing. Okay so I'm going to dive back into the box and oh no I don't want to see. Okay so this is from the same brand and this is a dry shampoo no fuss fabulousness dry shampoo it has one of these things in it this says give your hair a beautiful just wash look even if you haven't the time to wash it our unique formulation soaks up excess oil and cleanses the scalp leaving your hair looking fresh shiny and shimmering easy peasy so this is obviously in an aerosol and it looks like this I want to smell it so I'm gonna spray it oh did I just break it oh yeah smells good I really like dry shampoo I've never tried anything other than Batiste because I don't actually use it that much if I have kind of greasy hair I'll just put it in plaits or up in a ponytail um, but this is gonna be really nice for them days that I do want to keep my hair down and it does need washing but this smells really good and it seems like a really nice hair brand and I'm trying to look how much this is without ruining ruining <laughs> ruining all the other surprises this one is 12 pounds which seems quite expensive or a dry shampoo but I think it's kind of worth it because it's like something that kind of is really useful to have so yes I'm very looking <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying this basically I'm gonna dive back into the box I don't know how many things are in here this is the next thing and this is a nail polish oh my god this color is so cute this is the Cure Bazaar Paris nail polish in the shade French Rose this is really cute I've never heard of this brand but it's this really soft light pink unique i'm presuming it's a nail polish but it does look very very thin maybe it's more like a nail protector kind of thing i'm gonna try and have a look in here i feel like this isn't like an actual nail varnish but this is 15 pounds which is a lot and it doesn't seem to look very pigmented although this is meant to be france's number one nail polish i really want to try this on now i'm really intrigued because i don't know if you guys can see but that looks really thin and sheer, doesn't it? It doesn't even look like any kind of colour. So we'll see if it's French, 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 oh my god. France is number one nail polish, then it should be good. But the colour's really cute, and I just hope it shows up on your nails. I believe I have two things left, because I told my mum to have a look in the box, and she said there was five things. Okay, the next thing I actually have, this is a mini MAC False Lashes mascara sample. So once again, I will save this for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing hopefully soon. I'm either going to do a giveaway when I reach 100,000 followers on Instagram, or 50,000 subscribers. So make sure you kind of help me to get to those points for a giveaway. And then I believe I've saved the best thing till last because it's quite a big thing and it feels like a makeup item. 
Oh my god, that looks so nice. I have been thinking about buying a new eyeshadow palette because I haven't got another one for a while. This box is stunning. This is the Cargo Cosmetics Land Down Under eyeshadow palette. It has 12 eyeshadows, an eye pencil and a brush. Oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous. Here is what the box looks like, the back and the front. And I'm going to open this up because I really want to see it. I just love the colours, they're like my favourites. I cannot open this and it's torturing me because I really want to see it. Ah, there we go. So it has this kind of white pearlescent packaging with cargo cosmetics on the front. Oh, that's so pretty. This is so nice. These are the colours and oh my gosh, look at those. They have some really pretty shimmers, like really neutral browns and then they also have these really cool blues and this green. They have some really nice matte colours, like these are going to be perfect for crease colours. So is Koala, uh, this colour suntan looks so nice. I really don't want to ruin this but I want to swatch some but I'm going to take a look at the eyeliner. So this is just the Cargo Cosmetics black eyeliner pencil, we'll see what this feels like. That's really smooth and very pigmented. I need a new black eyeliner because I have this Wet n Wild one, which is the colour icon one. It's kind of dead and not great. So I'm really glad I've got a new one. This is so nice. And then the brush I'll also take a look at. It's a double-ended brush. So actually that feels really nice, but it's shedding a lot. But this is a really nice soft sort of fluffy brush to pack on the colour. And then the other end is a much smaller, more sort of smudgy side. So they're the two ends. Oh, the liner smudges out nicely if you use this brush. That smudges out really nicely. But I'm really excited about this. This is definitely my favourite thing in the box by far because, as I said, actually I don't know if I did, but I'm not really a massive fan of hair or nail products, so I'm really glad that this is in here. I'm going to give some of these a little swatch. So if we go into suntan, oh, that looks nice. And I'm also going to use Bondi and The Rock so we can get a matte colour in there too. They're really pretty, really nicely pigmented, not too much, so they're not going to be really hard to work with so you can actually build up the colour and they're really nice, they're really nice. I'm really happy with this palette, it's so nice, I won't be needing to buy a new one anytime soon and I think I'm probably going to keep it in this box because it's a lot nicer than this simple packaging. The Cargo eyeshadow palette is actually £35, which is a pretty expensive eyeshadow palette. That's kind of like the same price as a Naked palette from Urban Decay. I think they're actually about £38, so to get this one for £35 in this box is perfect and you also get a liner and a double ended brush. But that is everything for this video, I really do hope that you enjoyed, please check out Cohorted down below, the link will be in the description box and I'll also try to link the other two Cohorted videos I've done. Let me know down below in a comment if you want to see more of these kind of unboxing videos or if you'd rather I did something else a little bit more often. I'm sorry for the lighting in this video, it's not really been great because the sun's sort of setting, it's been really foggy. And and I'm wearing white so it's gone really bright and I'm just sorry for the lighting. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!